I'm going to give you as quick a recap as I can and then explain what's happened. I'll put a link to my video explaining it in more detail in the description. WSB TV put up this article. Local gamer says he communicated with shooter that killed journalists online. The primary function of the article was to provide information from an interview with an anonymous gamer that tied Vester Flanagan to Gamergate, saying he was a member. There are two ways we knew this article was insane. The last bit referenced a satirical tweet by Margaret's Belly on Twitter, and the actual interview with the gamer included references to Million Dollar Extreme. They fixed the first mistake by just wiping out the line where they referred to Margaret's tweet without any notice. There, one of the mistakes that shows us that their article is bunk is gone, hidden. So what's happened to the other piece of evidence that they got trolled, that they screwed up? It's been scrubbed. Here's an archive of where it was. Here's what you get now. Okay, so we've still got the little report clip where the guy mentioned Sam Hyde. That, on top of the strange answers and bizarre alleged chat, will surely tell everyone that this guy was trolling, that the interview is entirely bollocks. It's not a big deal. There's also this other guy who will frequently, uh, bullied Bryce, I guess is the right way to say it. His name was uh, Sam Hyde. He was a member of an online group called Million Dollar Extreme. When he saw the... Surely that's enough to show to anyone who's fallen into this article's wild claims. They've just believed this article, even though there's no proof. You can show them this and explain. Oh dear, though. The video attached to the article has a slightly different clip there. Oh, it's not a big deal. He was not happy with how things ended and how he was let go, and he felt like... You know, he had been picked on and, and bullied. When he saw the vile- So now there's no evidence that they screwed up. There's still all these baseless claims from this anonymous gamer, but the reference to the satirical tweet they made is gone without any note, so no one knows about that if they're looking at it for the first time. And the full interview with the gamer you can watch that makes it very clear they are being trolled are gone. It was bad enough that they took some random person at face value and reported on it, making such wild claims. But when it's pointed out to them that they screwed up and left evidence of their incompetence, instead of correcting it, instead of even noting it, they hid it and left this horrific abomination of an article up. And if you haven't read it, you should really go read it. There's a link in the description of this video. The reason this is such a huge deal is, now you can say, well, this is a bad article, they've just sourced some random dude. Before you could say, this is horrific, here are the mistakes. They cited a satirical tweet as proof, and two, the entire basis of their article, the interview that they're reporting on, is a trolling attempt. They're being wound up, this is nonsense. And they're using it as part of reporting on murder. They've just hidden it without any notice. And this piece of trash is being spread around now, simply stripped of the proof that they fucked up. Not corrected, as I suspected they did in the first place, tailored to look legitimate when they know it isn't. But here's a little secret. I ripped a copy of the full interview. I've tweeted at them to ask, Hey, why did you take this down? I'm also going to email them to ask about it. If they get back to me, I will update this video. And now I'm just going to run the video they took down because of all that unbelievable piece of crap is up there, you really need to know where they're drawing that information from. This is the interview. And at first I didn't, rec I didn't realize who it was. It wasn't until like, you know, they linked to Twitter and you're like, oh. <laughs> what was his name on the Gamergate? Uh, it was like B. Will something, something, something. He didn't really use like a, a real alias like, like most people do. It was just like first initial, last, um, last, Part of his last name and then some numbers like B Willie 583 or something like that, you know. He did changed you, it frequently. Did you know him by Bryce at all or did you find yeah. it up after? Yeah, well he, he had told some people that his name was Bryce, but he mainly went by you know, and it was obviously kinda easy to figure out, you know, what his last name was based off, you know, that. But yeah, I I, I knew that his name was Bryce, but yeah. yeah. It was it's just very hard to, to fathom. Stop being about video game ethics and journalism and more about like harassing people and like harassing women in video games and stuff like that and it was kind of concerning to see Bryce be a part of that you know that whole thing just because of you know what it had become and you know he you know I know he quit his job like two years ago but he would still frequently bring up people like Adam and Allison and just people that he worked with and it was like he seemed really angry you know, he just seemed very, very, just very angry towards them. And it was, it was kind of disturbing. You know, obviously I didn't, you know, think he was going to do what he did. But it was very disturbing to see someone who seemed to have some real anger issues towards people to be part of a group that, you know, was kind of about attacking people and harassing people. And it was just, it was, it was very, very odd. And there's also this other guy um, who will frequently, uh, bullied Bryce, I guess is the right way to say it. His name was uh, Sam Hyde. He was a member of an online group called Million Dollar Extreme. 
and um, they they, uh, they they harass them some like on Twitter and like online and stuff and it's really you know it's really easy to do that stuff because you know you're anonymous you can you can harass people and you can bully people and they they bullied him and it just I don't know I it, it felt like he was getting pushed over the edge and then I you know I haven't spoken to him in you know a few weeks so I didn't really know like he never mentioned to me that oh you know I'm gonna go you know kill people because obviously I would have said something but like I don't know it's just um it's yeah. very did he ever talk about his job um he just seemed frustrated that he wasn't moving forward as quickly as he would have liked to it was more like uh, he was staying in a straight line instead of you know moving up and that seemed to really frustrate him because he seemed passionate about you know his job like i said he got involved with gamergate which is journalism ethics and all that stuff so you know he was very passionate about being a journalist and we, we usually just talked through the in-game chat like we didn't get on skype or you know we just talked through uh through in-game voice communications like you press a button and you know he hears me and back and forth and you know it was it was fun he just seemed like as time went on he progressively became angrier and angrier and you know like I said that the guy Sam Hyde you can you can look up his name in million dollar extreme MDE they have like a YouTube channel and a, a Twitter account and uh, and they were really uh, just heavily involved in just pushing an already unstable you know individual yeah. over the edge which is pretty scary you know to think about because you see what happens I knew some of his background he didn't oh, he didn't know about a whole lot just you know on occasion you know, he talked about his old job and stuff like that and and then I saw it, and I was like, I reckon, I, in the back of my head, I recognized a couple of the names, and I was like, where do I know this from? Like, where, because, like, you know, when people talk about their coworkers, you don't, you don't remember their names. You don't really pay that, you know. And, and so then I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. And then I think I saw the name Bryce, or I, so I, think I, I think it was when I saw his Twitter that it really clicked it to me, like, holy crap. Like, I, I play games with this guy. I knew this guy, and he just killed people, and it's... It's just mind-blowing. What I thought was really weird is that the gun he used in the shooting was a gun from the game. So, like, the Glock that he used is a Glock. It looks exactly like the Glock from the game. Like, if you go to Google and you type in Glock CSGO or Glock Counter-Strike Global Offensive, they're the same weapon. So that may have played a part in, you know, which is crazy. But when I saw it, I was like, holy crap, you know, that's 